when I first started flying at Glade Run Lake, uh, it, it had been empty for about three years. Uh, so it was already pretty heavily overgrown. Uh, you could clearly see the boundaries of the lake, the, the trees right up to the edge of the lake. Uh, but it was empty. And uh, in the summertime, it was difficult to see exactly where the, the natural streams are that tend to flow through that area when, when it's not dammed up. That's the dam at the west end of the lake at the top, the fishing jetty in the middle, the boat ramp down here below, and up at the end of that little inlet there's a, a new footbridge leading to the hiking trail that takes you out to the east end of the lake. The old boat ramp was uh, overgrown and kind of falling apart. The turnaround area was really minimal. The footpath leading from the boat ramp out to the fishing jetty was uh, not in particularly good condition, and it certainly wasn't the sort of thing that you would consider to be handicapped accessible. Uh, the footpath was mainly gravel and debris, and uh, it would have been pretty tough for somebody with a wheelchair to uh, uh, make their way out to the fishing jetty. The area below the dam, uh, along the, the, uh, the run below the gate, was relatively unattended and, and kind of eroding and not very attractive. And in the spring, uh, before the, the vegetation really got a good hold after a long winter, it was pretty bare there in the lake bed, especially down toward the dam. The old spillway was uh, starting to disintegrate, uh, looking pretty ratty. That, uh, that horizontal surface there in the middle of the picture uh, at the top of the spillway is the, the key thing. That's what determines the size and shape of the lake. When the lake is full, it can't get any fuller than that. Uh, any excess water comes right over the spillway. So uh, that was a key element in designing the new spillway and dam. That's what the whole thing looked like when I first started flying. Up the top there, the spillway and the dam. Um, the fishing jetty, um, in, in the same way, was, was pretty bratty. Uh, it, uh, its surface and its sides were kind of crumbling and, and uh, uh, rough. And the jetty uh, had always been designed just to go out to the end and stop. So if you went out there to fish, uh, you could walk out to the end, but that was it. Uh, in the winter, it was a lot easier to see the path of the streams that are the natural feeders to the, the lake. And uh, it's also, from the air, uh, a lot easier to see the old airport uh, up on the hill. Uh, probably a, a number of people are not aware that there is a, an old abandoned airport up there. In fact, in the mid-70s, I kept an airplane there. In January 15, I did a series of slow passes with the camera pointing vertically out at the east end and assemble the large collection of individual photographs into a mosaic and overlaid that on a Google Earth image uh, combined with the survey that, uh, that Dave uh, Paris and the engineers did. And I think that helped uh, figure out things like where the new channel should be. In June of 15, uh, there was a really, really rainy week and uh, Dave Fowler invited me to come over and take a peek over his trees uh, at the amount of water that had accumulated in the lake. It was pretty clear that when we finally decided to fill the lake, it was going to happen uh, about as quickly as we wanted it to. So the first order of business uh, when they started working on the, uh, the dam and the spillway was to demolish the old spillway. Uh, that took a while and uh, uh, they, they started contouring the area that was going to be right up at the base of the dam and preparing the area where the new spillway was going to have to be. Uh, they also removed the facing of the old dam and, and reshaped it uh, according to their design specs so that it was uh, both strengthened and prettier. 
a bunch of high school kids uh, one weekend did a project that uh, created a bunch of, I think about 30 catfish spawning boxes. Uh, those and other habitat structures are the kinds of things that Dave uh, talked about. And uh, he has, uh, uh, he, he arranged to have them deployed uh, between the dam and the fishing jetty, well, that's what you see here, uh, there were some other structures around the fishing jetty, and then there were some more of these uh, spawning boxes and other structures uh, on east of the fishing jetty. Uh, so basically they've created uh, a, a huge collection of very interesting fish habitat things that are going to make this uh, this new lake uh, sort of an amusement park for fish. Uh, it's it's going to be just delightful. Lots of uh, pilings and piles of riprap there around the jetty. And then they began to uh, construct the the new spillway and the new face of the dam. And that was a considerable project because that's quite a that's a it's a complex structure that has to be just right. Uh, it has to fit just right with the rest of the dam. Eventually, the uh, the new spillway was finished, and the and the the underlying structure of the new dam was complete. Uh, they kept uh, uh, touching up the contour. Uh, of the dam and uh, at the same time they started uh, uh, laying the foundation for the deck that was going to be added to the end of the fishing jetty. Uh, they put in six big uh, reinforced concrete pilings that the, uh, the deck would sit on plus they built a, a, a ramp and ledge that the, the, the one edge of the deck would sit on. Once they got the, the pilings uh, in place and they had uh, settled down, they started framing the deck. Uh, and it looks very much like uh, the sort of deck that you might add on your house, uh, except for the fact that it's got some really sturdy pilings. So while that was going on, they uh, pretty much completed the work at the dam. They cleared out the area uh, leading up to the dam, which is part of the the, the government specifications for how you have to build a dam like that. And uh, they added this uh, lovely facing to the dam and, and uh, started stabilizing the, uh, the, the, the slope on the, uh, on the west side of the dam. Uh, about that time, they also began to dig a 1,200 foot long um, channel along the north shore um, and the material that they removed from the channel they used to construct an island that will provide uh, some some excellent uh, uh, turtle habitat and uh, I understand there's a plan to put a uh, an osprey nesting platform on that island also that's the island the flat surfaced uh, structure right there. And on east of the island and along the channel there's uh, there are a couple stands of, uh, of willows the, the, through which they've cut some lateral channels that'll make it possible for the fish to move from the main uh, stream channel over to this this new deep channel. And there's the island again. I understand the island is uh, going to be called uh, Paris Island. I'm not sure where that uh, name came from. Dave, do you? Well, never mind. It was really important to the Conservancy that the lake be accessible to everyone. So with that in mind, they designed and installed this new custom-built railing around the deck so that people can fish from the deck from wheelchairs. The uh, footpath from the jetty to the boat ramp was uh, 
completely redone, paved. It's now nice and smooth and should be great for wheelchairs. The boat launch area had uh, the turnaround area enlarged, which should uh, make it a lot easier for folks to turn around. And there's a new dock that was installed to replace the old one, which had pretty much uh, deteriorated. The new spillway was clearly ready for business when we started to refill the lake uh, in the middle of the fall. I think it was in October. Uh, water level started coming up right away. And on Bonnie's birthday, we discovered that the water level in the lake had finally topped the spillway, which meant that the lake was now as big as it's ever going to get. Can't get any bigger. When the water level tries to rise, it'll just spill over the spillway. Everything looks completely professional, beautiful, great to be back. So the dam is finished, the spillway is finished, the jetty and deck are finished, the boat ramp is finished, the footpath from the ramp to the jetty is finished, the footbridge and hiking trails are done, Glade Run Lake is back.